In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at variables and data types in Turing. A variable is declared in Turing using the keyword var, and then we give the name of the variable that we want to store. Um, and then we have to choose different types of data types depending on the kind of information that we want to keep track of. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick a standard um, variable let's say if I'm counting how many times something takes place so I'm gonna call my variable called it's gonna be count and then I have to I use a colon and then I say what kind of information is this going to keep track of so in this case I've got my variable count is going to be an integer and I can then say that count is equal to five now one of the uh, this is not common in programming languages anymore, but it used to be quite common. This is known as the assignment operator, a colon and an equals together. That's how I take the number five and I associate it with this variable name count. So if I were to try outputting this, if I put, obviously if I put the number five and I run this, then I get a five here. Whereas if I put the variable name count and I run this, I get a five again. And that's because the variable name count is, it's been filled with the value five. That's what we've accomplished by this statement. Now there are other values we could put in here. For example, I might put var, and I'm gonna create a variable called pi, and that one's going to contain a uh, real value and just going to double check on that value type and then I'm going to go ahead and set pi colon equals 3.14 and when I output pi I should get 3.14 so that's another numeric data type, it's called real, and that's for saving values that have decimals associated with them. So if we're counting things, then we're gonna count with using whole numbers, one, two, three, four, five. We might use negative numbers, negative one, negative two, and maybe even start at something like zero. All of those are val valid values for an integer. Whereas other numbers are real numbers, so in this case I've got pi is equal to 3.14. Another data type, and the last data type I'm going to talk about right now, is I'm going to, it's called a string data type. And so that's for storing a collection of characters. So in this case, perhaps I might say that name is equal to, and I'll just put in some simple name there, Bob. So let's see what we've got in our variable so far. We've got count, we've got pi, and we've got name. And all of these words have a special meaning now because I've assigned a value to them. So if I run that, you can see I've got the number zero, which I've changed count to zero. I've got pi is 3.14, and I have Bob, that's the name. So that is a quick rundown on the the different types of data that we can store, or at least this is known as primitive data. These are the really easy ones. There are some others, but that's all I wanna focus on for today. Integers, reals, and strings. And then we've got, here's how we can put some values into that data. And if you want to, especially this one, for example, pi, the value of pi is never going to change. That's not something we should be letting the user have any control over. So you might actually want to declare your value of pi uh, directly. You might want to just go ahead and say what it is. And so that can be done right up here in the line where you declare your variable, 3.14. And so rather than having it elsewhere, I'm putting it up here and the implication is that this number is never going to change. So if I go ahead and run that, nothing has changed in my program it just means that I've actually gone ahead and given, assigned it a value right away. So that's it for a simple, very simple treatment of variables and how to put values into variables using the assignment operator. 
it's going to be very easy as a new programmer to uh, to make the mistake of putting an equal sign here rather than the colon equals uh, so keep that in mind and understand that different programming languages have different conventions when it comes to this.